We have shown the involvement of our pathway in Parkinson's disease models and in Alzheimer's disease models. And so we decided to go explore whether or not our pathway can suppress cell loss in models of ALS. And the good news is it does, and it does so really effectively. If you're really going to stop the disorder and treat it effectively, you want to know the earliest possible derangements to intervene there. So our work is aimed at identifying what those early events are and then devising interventions that will prevent the progression of those problems to reverse those cellular and molecular abnormalities that lead to decline. We can do these experiments and use genetic tools to identify important components in the disease. But in the end, how are you going to turn this into something that helps people? So we decided a while ago to begin a drug discovery project looking for small molecules that target a key component of the pathway we've been studying. And we've used a combination of computation-based structure approaches it suggests promising molecules. And since that time, we've looked at the activity of our best selected candidates from that computational screen. But we're ready now to test those molecules in models of all of these three diseases, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and ALS. And that's what we're doing right now.